So this is going to be the first time in the US history in which we potentially could see the actual debt default. This is coming according to the recent reports and expectations from Bank of America. And I know for people being on the markets for quite some time, there is always certain time of the year in which we will hear that the debt ceiling will eventually crush the market because the limitation of extending the debt coming from the treasury will be limited by the law and this will create a market crash but it never happens this is why bank of america is saying that this time around is different and they're pointing out that you know the main reason for this and the likelihood of this happening is that this time around again politics are strongly involved many investors are concerned that with the far right wing of the Republican Party holding sway in the House of Representatives, a debt default is coming. This time around, other people have the last word. I still remember last year how Janet Yellen was, you know, policing and saying how this would demolish the stock market if, you know, the government doesn't step in and remove the debt ceiling. After we heard on Friday the bank earnings and we already heard that the banks are putting aside more and more money to prepare for the incoming recession and how scary they are for the incoming months. According to Bank of America, we think that it is likely that by the late summer or the early fall, the federal government will temporarily be forced to default on the portion of its daily obligations for a time frame between a couple of days all the way to a couple of weeks. This is mind boggling because so far, every time uh, comparing the previous years, when we heard about the debt ceiling, the debt crisis, the debt obligations from the treasury, you know, we don't actually know what is likelihood this to happen and what will be the range of the actual default if the default appears. Now we're having the actual time frame from Bank of America. They uh, look like saying the default is, you know, 99% sure. And this is the potential time frame in which the government will, uh, won't be able to sustain some of the obligations on the daily basis. What this actually means, well, the bond prices, guys, will hit the rock button. Most likely, another financial advice, look very, very carefully. The analysts from Bank of America think that in such event, that default, right, we most likely gonna see a fall of uh, equity prices and bond prices potentially testing the treasury market functioning and liquidity. And let's just simplify what this actually means. This means that if we're getting closer and closer to the middle of the summer or the beginning of, of autumn, right? And we're seeing that we're going straight towards the default. There is, you know, uh, cascades of, politi uh, of political, you know, uh, reactions. Nobody wants to step back. And, you know, people seeing that, you know, the government most likely will go into a couple of days or weeks in that default a lot of people will freaked out and a lot of people will start dumping assets so what we're looking most likely if this scenario plays out if we have a good market through the summer and let's say most of these people or companies take profits right if we see an event such as this most likely they will be buying the dip the other scenario plan b is we're having a bad tough market most likely trading sideways uh all the way up to this event and this event actually brings additional sell-offs well this will be a bad news some of the companies most likely will take uh, the loss you know essentially uh, because the ongoing potential ongoing you know political crisis will increase the uncertainty on the market nobody wants to trade when when you don't know what is actually going to happen on the market and you have less liquidity and less people trading it's not good. Remember what happened on the crypto market with the crypto firms when nobody was trading crypto. One by one, they cannot sustain obligations because they're making money from only one source, allowing people to trade, collecting fees from it. The second option might be bad for average investor on the market, but could be much worse for institutions who are short on the market. If people are start cashing out the bonds, they will go all the way up to the ladder. They will go back to the mutual funds. They will go back to wealth managers. They will go back to the hedge funds and they will request a major withdrawers. And guess what? They don't care how much fees they're going to pay. When people freaked out, as you saw in the article, they don't care about, you know, the, the cost basis. They don't care about the potential uh, expense ratio, how much they're going to pay and violating some of the rules of these investment firms. So the liquidity could dry up very, very fast, like simultaneously. And this 
it's uh, likely to happen because we saw that there is a major shift in the people who are making the final decision for the extension of the debt ceiling. Leave your thoughts in the comment section guys, let me know are we going to see the first time in the US history seeing a debt default. Not because the economy is so bad, not because you know some people done something wrong, simply because the law is in the hands of the other people right now. Subscribe to the channel guys, like this video and come back for more.